when you want to take x-rays on a patient, you would open up the FMX. This is where images will be stored by tooth number. These are using right now the Canadian or international number system. It can also be set to be the US numbering system. To acquire images, you apply on the x-ray icon and it will open up your x-ray screen. You have some default sequences that are placed in here. You have four bite wings if you'd like. You have a full mouse series. And you can easily create your own sequence by just clicking on this little arrow. Add record or sequence. You can name it whatever you'd like. Click on the check mark. It tells you to now create the sequence numerically and hit the escape button on the keyboard. So if you like to start on this area here, and then this area here, and then these ones, and so on, you can record as many as you'd like and then hit escape. The sequence has been recorded and now we were on the custom. So this is where every time you come in, you can choose what you want, what you would like. If, if Amanda likes to take it a certain way, or if someone else likes to take it another way, this can all be customized. Once you've decided on the sequence for the office, and if you always want to take the same set of x-rays, like bite wings only, or if you wanted to do the full mouse series, like in our default, when you open, you can easily just place the sensor in the mouth, place the x-ray head, and once you shoot the x-ray head, it will actually be like when I click on this button. You won't need to do this, but the image will be taken. You'll be able to view and see if it's an image that you think is good, and the computer will automatically advance to the next number in the sequence. So all you would do here is move the sensor forward in the mouth and hit the x-ray head again and automatically the x-ray radiation will move the system forward into the sequence. So you really don't need to touch the mouse or touch the keyboard or touch anything here. Every time you take an x-ray, it will advance through the sequence. If you do make an error, you can always re-click and retake the image by just shooting the x-ray head again. This will place the image over the last image. It will keep the other image just in case, but it will put another one on top of it. If for some reason you've made an error in acquisition and it's in the wrong area, you can easily just click on that x-ray, left mouse click continually, and you can drag and drop it anywhere in the full mouse series. You can also reorient by right mouse clicking. It'll open up a menu and it will allow you to rotate it any which way you'd like to put it in the right orientation and then it will stay that way. So while you're in the acquisition, you can always just, if you make an error, you don't have to worry. You can rotate things around, you can make things the right orientation, uh, you can put things back the way they were, and make sure that everything is underneath the right tooth number while you're acquiring. If you come in and you have a situation like an emergency where we wanna do maybe an endodontic root therapy, you can keep the image is all in one box. So here the green means go, meaning it'll go through the sequence and follow the numerical sequence. You can always bypass this sequence by just clicking anywhere and it will take the image there, but it will then continue through the numerical sequence as you progress. If you click on the green and it goes to red, that means it stops on one. So if we have an upper central, that we've had a hockey, accident and you wanted to do a root canal now you could take an x-ray and you could save it there in that one box you could also grab another x-ray let's say after they've done 
the length and figured out the length and they put the file in there and then after the root canal has been done you can take another x-ray on that and they'll all be taken on that one box if you want to okay once you're done taking all the images you can exit out save all those images and those images will be saved in your full mouse series now to be viewed these images that are now saved in the in the FMX, you just have to double click on them and it will be placed up into the viewing ports for you to view and look at.